It's Aiden. Come in. Luan? Come on, Luan, answer me. You there? Ah, great. I fixed the transmitter, and now you go radio silent. Free Villador. Your neighbor, your city, once more and forevermore. Signing off. Talk to me, Frank. Look, we started off on the wrong foot. I'd like to correct that mistake. Have a drink. Yeah? For me. Frank, I really don't have time for this. I have to find another way to find my... Just listen. Walt needs to access that Chiari place. You get it? That's why we have to find Matt Pilgrim. He's offering a lot of fucking crystals for what he's got. And a lot of boosters. Do I have your attention now? With those? Renegades, yes. But how did you... The TV station used to be controlled by the military. They did more than just broadcast from there. Thanks to you, we can now listen in on the enemy. It appears that Waltz is looking for the same database you're after. But the observatory is completely soaked with chemicals. <laughs> I have no idea how this GRE crap works, but Waltz sure seems to know. Maybe the observatory is not the only place to access the database. Is this conversation all you have? Uh, for now. But if we got close to their position and hacked into their frequency, we could collect more intel on Watts' plans. How? The transmission you heard was intercepted near an old military antenna in the wharf, just south of Marsh End Lane. If we activate that antenna, It'll boost the signal, and we'll be able to hear everything they say. Every syllable. And you'd know exactly what Waltz is up to. Right, anything else before I get going? Oh, one more thing. Look at that poster, Aiden. Nightrunners used to abide by that creed. Live by it. I used to think we were as torn apart as that piece of paper. But the creed still means something. And if you increase the range, I can contact the remnants of the old night runners. Some must still be alive. I see it now. This means a lot to you, doesn't it? Not just to me, to everyone here. But there's one piece missing. Do you know why I haven't thrown this poster away in all this time? Because of Luan. When I saw her for the first time, she was maybe, what, eight, nine years old. She was barely alive. She looked like she hadn't eaten in a year. And she was trying to help some kids get a crystal back from a thief. The guy was threatening them with a knife. He was twice their size, stronger, and she jumped on him. 
Biddy's hands so deep that his screams were heard as far away as old Villador. After that, she gave the crystal to one of the boys and left. She didn't get anything out of it. She didn't have to risk it. I looked at her and thought, this is all we have left. As humans, we can fight one another. Everybody just for themselves. Or, no matter what, we can stand up for each other. Then I wrote down this credo. That little girl helped the Night Runners become who they were for years. And if we are to be reborn, we cannot do it without her. Okay, I'm on my way. Then go get him. I'll be on the radio. You remind me of Luan, before she became obsessed with that goddamn hit list of hers. I'll get ears on the Renegades for you. I'll find out what Waltz is up to. I promise. Good day. Frank is back, and I've got... Watch yourself, you hear? Was the virus around when you were little, too? <laughs> no. Uh. Frank? That's, uh, that's way up there. Yeah. GRE made them hard to reach for a reason. Keeps them away from the bad guys. But for a guy like you, Aiden, piece of cake.
Frank, I got the antenna going. Okay, let's see what these bastards are talking about. Sabotage and head east. Walls in. We need to meet him. They're moving, Aiden. They said they're going to meet Waltz, heading east. There is another antenna on top of a condominium at the intersection of St. Paul Boulevard and Peach Street, just by the entrance of the main canal. Get it working, and we can keep up with them. Got it. Aiden, the Colonel seems to be evacuating renegade camps. First, the electricity, then central loot rates. Now this. It seems that Williams doesn't want to fight any more than we do. Or he really intends to close the sluice gates and back the chemicals up into the city. But his stronghold will be destroyed as well, so this evacuation wouldn't make sense. We need to expand the range to find out more. <laughs>
Fuck me. People will always complain. We're alive, and that's what counts. Forget the fall even happened. Oh, I, I say. Frank, I activated the second antenna. The renegades were here, on the roof. Speaking of renegades, hearing more chatter. Meeting in Garrison Boulevard, all opposite. Waltz will be there to give us orders. Anything new about that pilgrim? No. But he found someone who'll help him access the database. If you know something new about that fucking pilgrim, let me know. Keep looking. Frank, I need to get to where they are. You heard the maiden. Waltz is looking for you. He's got a way to access the database. <laughs> he found someone. He's too strong for you, and you'll be playing straight into his hand. If that's the only way to find out the truth, then so be it. You're stubborn, kiddo. Stubborn like Lawan. I'll be in touch. Oh! <laughs> 
Three people's radio is more than just a broadcast. It's a source of hope.
See? Walt was right. These fuckers were eavesdropping on us. First him, then we'll get that GRE employee from the old Philidor. And the boss will be over the moon. Where's Walt? Walt? We don't need Walt to deal with you. Oh, good old Frank. So naive. Warning people. Talking way too much. Get him! I think so. Yeah. Walsh wasn't here. And they know we're eavesdropping on them. I know. 
You know? Someone tried to tip me off, but the warning came too late. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I... <clears throat> my infection just flared up. The renegades were talking about some GRE doctor from the bazaar. Waltz is looking for him, too. Former GRE and old Velidor? I'll look into it. Who tried to tip you off? Well, that's the strangest part. It was Hakon. He wants to meet with you. I wasn't aware the two of you had met. Anything I should know? It's... a long story. Why doesn't that surprise me? I thought he was dead. Well, he's still kicking, and he'll be waiting for you at the church on St. Paul Island. He's got the goods on Waltz. And hell, maybe he knows something about Lawan too. I'll go meet with Hakon, Frank. You try and find out what happened to Lawan. Just remember, they're listening to you too. Will do, Aiden. Be careful. Who knows what Hakon is up to? I'm going back to the fisheye. Good luck.
Frank, the church is empty. What are you talking about? Well, Hakon's not here, but it looks like the renegades were camped here. Their fire's still smoldering. Hey, then. Why did you want to meet, Hakon? Why not? It's been a while. Looks like you've made some new friends. How is Lawan, by the way? Wait, don't you know where she is? No. But what I do know is that someone's been killing William's top officers, each with a single crossbow bolt. Sounds like Lawan's MO, doesn't it? Okay, Pilgrim. Time to get down to business. You're still on Waltz's leash, I see. Enough chit-chat, Aiden. Give me the key. <laughs> what? The GRE key, Aiden. Give it to me. Thank you. 
try taking it from me, Hakon. I'll do my best. Promise. Get that key from him! Make quite a name for yourself in this shithole. Is that what you wanted? Are you really ready to kill me for that key, Hakon? Oh, so many people have died already. You can't stop the wheel from turning now. But well, you had a chance to kill me. To take it from me at the bazaar. What changed? Well, what do you think, kid? You promised to get me out of the city. We had a deal. But then you ratted me out. And you think Waltz will just let you go, just like that? You know what he did to Dylan. To... to all the others. Yeah, but they all stood in his way. Dylan betrayed him. Lucas wouldn't give up the key. So? So you murdered him! The key is my pass out of the city. <sighs> Real fucking shame I have to kill you. <laughs> You're making me do this, kid.
Hakan! If you can't get away... Maybe. But you don't want to see me. I ain't as pretty as before. We've both seen your biomarker. You're not gonna find me in time. How many people have you betrayed, Hakon? Killian? Frank? Luan? Why did you betray her? Frank told you about the TV station. Told you I chickened out, right? Well, he's wrong about that. It was a suicide mission. And Luan, why did you leave her? What? How do you know about that? <laughs> Just answer the question. I made a deal with the devil. And she had her own hell to deal with. What are you talking about? I left to protect her. If I'd stayed, Walt would have had her killed. So why did you work with him? Why did you betray Frank? I, I didn't! I didn't betray Frank. I was trying to fix things. After the TV station, I was planning to spy on Waltz, but he got suspicious, threatened to kill Lawan. And now it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> Get! Okay. 
kiddo! <laughs> I'm sorry, Icon. I didn't want this. Frank? It's Aiden. Icon's dead. Oh, fuck no. I knew this would happen. Well, come back to the fisheye. I overheard something more about Waltz. He's heading to old Villador, Aiden. The person he tracked down is a GRE doctor. Is that related to the database? Yes. And I think I know the person he's after. I'll try to use the radio to reach her first. I'm taking that key, Aiden. Stop, Hakon. You're in no condition to fight. Uh, we'll soon find out, won't we? Hakon, talk to me. This doesn't make sense. Do the Night Runners mean nothing to you? Don't you want to make things right, Hakon? Nothing to make right anymore. The Night Runners are long gone. No matter what Frank says, he ain't gonna raise the dead. <sighs> Although it's a nice dream. What's really going on here? Frank told me how you broke with the Night Runners. Every day since, I've wondered. Would things have ended differently if I'd been there? Would my friends be alive? I know I can't bring anyone back, but I did make a vow. I'd prove myself to Frank and Lawan. Closer, and I'll have no choice, Hakon. How's this? I'm still slippery. <laughs> You wanted. After all this time hunting him, he's finally dead. Thought I'd be looking him straight in the eye before I put a bolt through it. But now, he's just another body on the ground and a name checked off my list. Are you okay, Luan? I can't even begin to know how to feel about this. He seems so vulnerable now. Can I help you with anything, or...? No, it's okay. I've just... waited so long for this to end, now... I need to be alone for a while. <sighs> 